let's take a look at how to add and subtract decimals up to 100. A glass is filled with 8.3 ounces of water. The glass tips over and 3 ounces of water spill. How much water is left in the glass? All right, well, to figure out how much water is left, we would need to subtract. So if I take the 8.3 we started with and I subtract the 3, that's going to tell me how much water we have left. Now, when you're subtracting with decimals, instead of just saying minus 3, I'm going to think of that as minus 3.0, right? It helps to make them both in the same form, and 3.0 is the exact same value as 3. And then when I subtract, I'm going to make sure that I line up the decimal points in my answer as well as in the two numbers I was subtracting. Okay, so 3 minus 0 gives me 3 in the tenths, tenths place. And 8 minus 3 gives me 5 in the ones place. So the water would still have 5.3, or the glass would still have 5.3 ounces of water left. Ashley has a balloon filled with 8.1 ounces of helium. She notices a small hole in the balloon. If 1.3 ounces of helium escape, helium escape the balloon, how much helium remains in the balloon? Okay, well, if I take what it started with and I subtract the amount that it lost, that should leave me with how much is remaining, right? That keyword remaining tells us we're subtracting here. So I'm going to set this one up as 8.1 minus 1.3. And when I'm subtracting with decimals, I'm going to make sure to add up the decimal points and the two numbers as well as my answer. And here, when I say 1 minus 3, I'm going to borrow from here and think of that as 11 minus 3. Okay, well, 11 minus 3 gives me 8. And then in the 1's place, 7 minus 1 gives me 6. So the balloon would have 6.8 ounces of helium remaining. Owen plays 8.9 minutes of baseball on Saturday and 9.4 minutes of baseball on Sunday. How many minutes of baseball did Owen play over the weekend? Okay, well if we want the total amount for both Saturday and Sunday, we would have to add these two numbers together. So I'm going to say 8.9 plus 9.4. So in the tenths place, 9 plus 4 gives me 13. So I'm going to write the 3, carry the 1. 8 and 9 is 17, plus the extra 1 makes it 18. So he played 18.3 minutes of baseball over the whole weekend, meaning both Saturday and Sunday. Ryan's cat ate 7.2 ounces of cat food yesterday and 7.1 ounces of cat food today. How much has Ryan's cat eaten in the past two days combined? Well, if we want to know how much he ate in the two days combined, we would need to add those two numbers together. So we're going to say, okay, well, the first day he ate 7.2 ounces, plus on the second day he ate 7.1 ounces. So we're going to add to figure out his total for the two days. Now notice I'm lining up my decimal points, and then I'm adding the numbers in each place value. So 2 plus 1 gives me 3 in the tenths place, and in the ones place, 7 plus 7 is 14. So that cat ate 14.3 ounces of food. A monkey climbs 8 feet on Saturday and 7.4 7 feet on Sunday to collect food. How many feet did the monkey climb over both days combined? Okay, well, both days combined is telling us to add the two numbers together. And when I'm adding, I want to make them both in the same form, or in this case, both decimals. So remember, 8 is the same thing as 8.0. So I'm going to think of this as 8.0 feet plus 7.4 feet. I'm lining up all the decimals, and then I'm adding the numbers in each place value. So 0 plus 4 gives me 4, 
and 8 plus 7 gives me 15. So the monkey climbed 15.4 feet over the weekend.